Welcome to NAM 2019. It's nice out here. It's beautiful. We are the Rock and Roll Show. I'm Randy. I'm the lead singer. Matt, bass player. Here to talk a little bit about our studio and our band, new upcoming album. What do you think your favorite show was when you were a kid growing up, huh, kid? My favorite show? I'm going to have to think about it. You go first. Anything with Dimebag. Well, Dimebag's always good. I yeah. saw Dimebag back in the day with Judas Priest back at Irvine Meadows. That was quite a show. But uh, I'll tell you what, I have to say that probably my favorite show is always an Iron Maiden show. Those are pretty killer. Those are pretty yeah. good shows. <laughs> I always like playing the whiskey. Whiskey's always a good local show. Crowds love it. Everybody loves it. We have a good time. Crowd seems to really respond in LA. That's kind of what the band is all about. We are kind of a revamped LA uh, scene type of band, and uh, it's just with a little bit of new school. We play with James Klopel, the lead guitar player for Deuce. Uh, Kenneth Hunter also plays with us. He's from 96 Bitter Beings, and uh, we've got quite a good lineup in the band. Um, very excited about it. Seem to be getting a very good response with everything that we're doing with it, and. Uh, enjoying ourselves. Tell them about the studio. Got a beautiful new studio in Huntington Beach, uh, 15329. 15329, Fifteen Pipeline three, Lane. Pipeline Lane, right across the street from all the tour buses. You can't miss it. Uh, beautiful studio, got affordable rooms for everybody. Come on down. We've got everybody that comes down to play with us. Might see a famous guy or two every once in a while down there. You never know. But. Uh, We've got affordable rooms for everybody. You don't have to basically have an arm and a leg to rehearse and uh, play at our studio, that's for sure. It's a fun place. You can record, video, everything there. Set up quite, uh, quite nice, so pretty excited about it. <music> Greatest inspirations in music. Alice Cooper is probably one of my biggest influences, no doubt about it. Love Alice, he started it all. You can see everybody from Kiss to Slipknot steal his... Uh, ideas tons of them tons of different ones a lot of classical guys have been playing violin for a long time so a lot of classical stuff any of the southern rock dime bag obviously rock and roll guys also play things like violin we got a lot of talent in this band james plays saxophone drums killer Every, yeah <laughs> half these guys play better instruments than what we don't do on stage with guitars or whatever you know violins cellos saxophones, you name it. These guys got it and they're very good at it. My view on the music is nowadays, it's kind of been cheesed down a little bit, really. Uh, everything's so processed so quickly. Nobody puts any heart anymore into an album a long period of time, which I like to try and still do when we're spending time in the studio. But in all reality, uh, I think that the music is some of these kids nowadays, like Avenged Sevenfold, everybody else, they're really getting a good idea. Yeah. Five Finger Death Punch, they all sound really good. They all sound really good. You know, technology helps, is helping everything move along faster. I'm an analog Just don't guy. lose the flavor. <laughs> don't lose the flavor. Remember, some of us were born in 69. You. Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, every band that comes out nowadays as of heavy rock, heavy metal. I'm not really into the new, what kind of bands would you say they are? Keyboard synthesizers, anything like that, emos. He likes, he likes rock and hard rock. Okay. I'm a hard rocking kind of guy. Give it to me, rip my face off. Poof. There you go. <laughs> that guitar from the, the chick guitar player from Alice Cooper, her new signature guitar. Duh. Duh, can't even remember Duh. her freaking name. Uh, me, uh, I would be looking at probably uh, yeah. the loudest QSC amp oh, that they have boy. right there. Rip your face off. Uh, He's a power amp. <laughs> The studio. I'm working not only on the studio, I'm working a lot in writing vocals, everything else. You know, we do everything for television. A lot of people don't know that not only we do the band, I do everything from Duck Dynasty to uh, Pitbull and Parole, Lee's Wicked Tuna, Lockup, 
uh, MSNBC. We do everything. I mean, we do so many shows on television. We have, uh, you know, like I said, over 2,000 songs on television. So we're always working in the studio, either on an album or for television. So we're those guys, when you don't hear anything at home, we're those guys that basically uh, are the guy playing in the background that gets absolutely no credit. Jingle, jingle, all the way. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Rock everybody's faces off. I like that. Yeah. You just came up with that. I uh, My plans for the future is uh, obviously to play as many good shows as we can in the future. Pick up maybe uh, some kind of good touring, uh, opening up for some good bands. Uh, we also... Um, uh, we'd like to promote anything that we have. If anybody goes and looks, I have a problem with YouTube. They always seem to kick everybody off when somebody has a large amount of hits. So we have a Facebook page if everybody wants to go to it at the Rock and Roll Show. And uh, That's the Rock and Roll Show at Facebook? At Facebook. Nice. I don't even do it on Don't forget, com. folks, the Rock and Roll Why Show. Why are you going to pay for on it? Facebook. Everybody pays for it. It never works out. <laughs> Facebook, Follow the Rock and Facebook. Roll Show. I, listen, you know, we've tried to do everything from the YouTube to everything else. It just seems that every time you start getting thousands of hits, they shut me down. So maybe YouTube will see this and then realize next time I post something up and it gets a couple thousand hits in a short time period, maybe don't boot us. Facebook, the Rock and Roll Show. Facebook. Find it. Find it. Walter Rock, we love you.